Hey guys, uh, so in this video, in this video clips here, I really don't um, say too much because I'm kind of just getting the game plan together. You know, the issue we're having is for one, they have those shitty um, alligator clips going from the inverter to the battery and it doesn't have a good connection, right? So I cut those off, make those better. Um, I also install that um, the EC disconnector switch, basically, or charge controller. Um, because the issue we're having is that, you know, there's no charge controller on it, right? So the voltage is getting very high and we, you know, we, we don't want to keep overcharging them, you know, because it's already happened once. And so that's sad, right? So, um, you know, I'm just trying to make a better situation for her, you know. So temporarily, I hooked up their disconnect switch so that way when it hits 14.4 volts, um, it basically just stops the electricity from coming in from the solar panels. And then only when the batteries get, you know, down to a certain point, um, will, will it engage to allow electricity to flow back through the solenoid and keep charging the batteries. So, um, she's actually home today, so I'm just trying to have respect and just do my thing. I told her I might be hanging outside from here, to, you know, here and there when I'm making my connections, but, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm just doing my thing, guys. Check it out. Um, now, towards the end, I talk a little bit more, and, um, yeah.
guys so um i got her charge controller or disconnect controller installed now um i took away those rinky dink um battery clamps and made solid connections and terminals so now that's all nice and solid